Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to create campaigns using the Socio Publisher feature of Socinator. Socio Publisher allows you to post images or videos on multiple social media through one campaign. To start, after opening Socinator, make sure to select Social on the upper right corner of the app. Then let's go to the Socio Publisher tab. To create campaigns, click Create Campaign. Here, we can assign a unique campaign name or just go with a campaign ID. Under Post Manager, we have the option to Create Post. This Socinator feature helps to automate creating single and multiple posts on Socinator. To create a single post, select this one. So enter your post description over here. Let's say Happy. Under Media, you can click the Media button to load images or videos. Let's say this one for example and click Open. And it's automatically uploaded. Click the Settings button to configure individual post settings. So under General Settings, you can specify the expire date if you want. Check this box if you want to re-add post to post list with a specific number of times. Under Twitter, you can choose to delete the post after a specific number of hours. You may also mention users. So let's enter a specific Twitter username, for example. Then under Facebook, you have the option to turn off comment for cell post or replace post descriptions with following text. Under Instagram, you can post as part of your story only instead of on wall. You may also delete the post after a specific number of hours. Post using geolocation, so you may enter the location name or the location ID. You may also tag Instagram users. Under LinkedIn, you can specify the LinkedIn group post type. So it can be a general post, a job post, or an announcement post. Under Tumblr, you can tag specific Tumblr users. And under Reddit, you can specify if the post is not safe for work, original content, spoiler, or disable sending replies. Click Save when you're done. So you can enter the post title here and the source URL. If you check Enable Facebook Sell Post, Socinator will enable the Facebook Sell Post for selling stuff over groups. So you can specify what you're selling as well as the number and the location. So those are the options for creating a single post. You may also create multiple posts by clicking this. So if the multiple post button is clicked, Socinator will perform action of displaying a modal window on screen to set multiple posts. So click Create Post. Write what's on your mind. Let's say Happy again. Import Media if you want. Let's upload the same picture. Click Open. And Settings, it's up to you. Click Save when you're done. Specify the post title as well as the source URL. And click Enable Facebook Cell Post if you want. You may also import from CSV by clicking this button. Select the right file and click open. You may also delete everything by clicking the delete all button over here and it's gone. So that's the multiple post button. We also have another import from CSV button here. So if you want to import from CSV, click that button, select the right file and click open. Finally, you have a create a multiple image post. If this option is selected, Socinator will perform action of enabling access to create multiple image posts with web search URLs. So you can use file name as post description or you may upload your own post description. Click that button and select the right file then click open. Check this box if you want Socinator to perform action of adding only unique posts. You may also upload from URL so using this option Socinator will perform action of loading images from web URLs. So we need a specific URL, let's say this one, copy the URL, paste it, and then click the magnifying glass button over here or the search button. And it will automatically load images from the URL that we have posted. So this is the first image. Click the next one and it will load the second image. So you may save to draft post list or save to pending post list. So that's it under create post. Let's go to the next one, which is Scrape Post. So this feature helps to automate scrape posts from Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter on Socinator and post them on given destination. 
So check this box if you want to scrape posts from Facebook. So it will perform action to scrape posts from Facebook groups, pages, own wall, and friends URL. Then post the scraped contents and images to given destinations. So here are the formats for scraping posts from groups, pages, friend wall, own wall, and news feed. So for group, you need to enter the letter G between these symbols. Then enter the Facebook group URL. For page, it's the letter P and then the page URL. For friends wall, it's letter F and then the URL. For own wall, it's letter O. No need to enter the URL because it's your own account. For newsfeed, it's letter N. No need to enter the URL as well because it's your own newsfeed. Next, you may scrape posts from Pinterest. So Sosinator will perform action to scrape posts from Pinterest boards, users, category, and search pins. Then post the scraped contents and images to given destinations. Finally, you can scrape posts from Twitter. And this will allow Sosinator to perform action to scrape posts from Twitter user and search. Then post the scraped contents and images to given destinations. Next, we have setting. So we can specify the number of recent posts to scrape on every operation. Next, you can specify the number of minutes on how you want Sosinator to check for new posts. Next, we have share post. So this feature helps to automate share posts from Facebook on Sosinator and share them on given destination. So you can use this if you have a Facebook account. So the first is to share posts from custom posts list. So if this option is checked, Sosinator will perform action of share post from custom post list. You can add custom post lists over here. Next, you have share post from Facebook pages. So if this option is checked, Sosinator will perform action of share post from Facebook page. So you need to add the page URL here. You can specify the number of minutes on how Sosinator will check the page for new posts. Let's say two minutes. You may also specify the maximum number of posts to extract per operation. For keywords, Sosinator will perform action of share posts from page with the matching keywords. So add keywords in this area. Check this box to share posts depending on the maximum number of age in terms of days. You can also specify the number of likes of the posts. So share posts that have between let's say 1 to 4 likes. You can also specify the number of recent posts to scrape on every operation. Finally, you can specify the number of minutes on how Sosinator will check for new posts. The next feature is RSS feed. So in this section, Sosinator will allow to create posts with RSS feed and post the same to assign destinations. So feed URL details will allow to enter the feed URLs for extracting the feed details and post the same to the assigned destinations. Post description will allow to automatically generate the feed descriptions from the given feed URL. So we have feed title, feed description, feed URL, feed published date. Under media, click the button to select an image or a video and click open and it will be uploaded. Click the settings button to configure individual post settings according to different networks. Then you may type your post title and source URL here and check this box if you want to enable Facebook cell post. So let's just enter an example URL. Let's say this is the URL. When you're done, click the save feed URL button and Sosinator will save all existing posts to feed URL details over here. So you may edit the feed URL details by clicking this button. You may also delete the feed URL details by clicking this button and it's gone. The monitor folder will allow you to specify the folder path. Click the folder button over here and let's select desktop for example as our folder path and it will be automatically added here. You may also clear using the clear all button and it's gone. So let's create the same folder path again. So post description, similar to RSS feed. So you may enter the file name, the file type, the file author, file title, file subject, file creation date, file comments, file tags. Under media, you have the option to configure individual post settings. 
from different networks. Click save when you're done. Here you can write the post title. Let's say happy. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button and select the right file and click open. So let's say happy again. So you may randomly pick title from the list or remove title once used. Enter the source URL and click this box if you want to enable Facebook cell post. When you're done, click save folder path and it will be saved in the folder path details over here. Click this button if you want to edit the folder path details. Click this button if you want to delete the folder path details and it's gone. So that's it under post manager tab. Let's go to the post configuration tab. So in this section, you will need to set up how and when the tool is going to execute the socio publisher actions. So the first configuration is job configuration. So under settings, you can specify the number of posts per day, as well as the start time and end time. So each post will be published to all selected destinations, including groups, pages, or walls. So you can specify the delay between posts. So let's say 5 to 30 minutes. You may also configure posting interval for each timer. Or you may also use random publishing time every day. Click this box if you want Socinator to publish all the selected destinations. You can add delay between publishing multiple posts. So between two numbers in terms of minutes, you may also specify the minimum and maximum number of posts. Click this box if you want to specify the start date of the campaign. So select the start date by clicking the calendar. Let's say February 5, for example. And there's the time as well. You may also specify the end date. So let's say 7. So here you can specify the delay between each destination post. Let's say 10 to 30 seconds. You may also select the days of the week to publish. So if you want to publish every day, then check all of them. Or if you don't want to publish on Tuesday, then uncheck Tuesday. If this option is checked, Socinator will publish the post from the first selected day. Next, we have other configurations. So under the settings, you can enable signature to add a custom text at the end of your posts. For Reddit users, you may check for the approval of your posts. You may also shorten all the URLs from the post. You can also allow publishing of text posts with links for Pinterest users. And for Instagram users, you can post as part of your story only instead of on the wall. You may also click the advanced settings button. If you want to further specify campaign settings, depending on your preferences and the social network of your choice. When you're done, click save. And those are the configuration settings for create campaign. Now we can click select destinations and select the destination that we have created by checking the box. Next, we can select account and select the destination that we have also created by checking the box. When you're done, click save. Success. So now we have successfully created your campaign using the Socio Publisher feature. I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.